Hi everyone, it's Eric Thompson with Windermere Real Estate. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. In this one, we're gonna talk about risk. We're gonna talk about risk mitigation. And we're specifically speaking to sellers uh, when we make this video. So uh, I'm gonna walk you through the two places uh, where sellers uh, would get in trouble. If a seller's gonna end up in court, God forbid a seller's getting sued from a buyer. There are really two reasons why that would happen. Uh, by the way, we're here to help you out to make sure that these things don't happen, but you should know these are the two most common reasons, the two most common sources of a problem from a buyer to a seller, where a seller, God forbid, would end up uh, in court, okay? So the first one, uh, the first place that sellers really need to look out for and to be really thorough on is when it comes to inclusions and exclusions. And what we mean by that is being really clear with your buyer what's included and what's not included uh, with, the, with the home. So imagine this scenario, uh, a buyer uh, purchases uh, the home, it's under contract, it's under contract for a month and they're, they're working through their contingencies and they're working with their lender and they get all ready to close. Uh, they move out of the, of the home that they were living in for a while. Uh, they show up at the new home with the moving trucks, walk in uh, to the new home really excited. And lo and behold, they look up and that, that chandelier that used to be there, uh, the, beautiful, the big beautiful chandelier that they were so excited about, there was a big reason why they bought the home in the first place, it's not there anymore. Um, are they gonna be upset? Yeah, absolutely, they're going to be upset. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna go back to the contract and they're gonna see, was the chandelier listed as an inclusion um, or was it listed there as an exclusion? And maybe it wasn't listed there at all, which can really be uh, a problem. Or may, imagine this scenario, there was a freezer. Uh, there's a really nice freezer uh, in the garage, right? Um, we all love to have that extra storage space. Um, and uh, sometimes that's, uh, that can include something like a really nice freezer in the garage. Well, what if that was there when they bought the home, but it's not there anymore? Or maybe it's a pool table, or the list goes on and on and on. The thing is, we gotta be really clear about what's included and what's excluded, and that's where we come in, that's the realtor's job to help you with that, to help ensure that we're getting those things into the contract. So the point is, we gotta be really clear in writing in the contract about what's gonna be included and what's not, because if the buyer thought, that, um, if they thought they were getting something that's no longer there, well, you're gonna hear from that buyer, right? They're gonna be upset. You're gonna hear from that buyer, so let's be really clear in the contract about what's gonna be included and what's not going to be included, okay? So that's number one. Uh, number two is all about disclosure. So what's interesting about real estate and real estate in Colorado is it, uh, you know, it's not like buying a car. So if you buy a car, it's, uh, you're buying it as is, it's let the buyer beware. Well, real estate's not like that. Uh, real estate is not like that. Real estate requires you, and the state of Colorado requires you, to disclose any material defect known um, to the buyer. So if there's a material defect, about the home that you are aware of, you must disclose that to the buyer. So let's uh, pick a scenario. Maybe it's the roof. Maybe you know uh, that the roof leaks. Maybe there was a really bad rainstorm back six, six months ago and you noticed a little leak in the roof and let's say you decide, well, maybe, I don't think it was that big of a deal. Uh, it was only a small leak. I'm not gonna disclose that. Um, and then uh, buyer moves in, six months into their home ownership, the roof is leaking. Well, they're gonna wonder if you knew about that. And if they find out that you did, that could be a problem. That's a place where you, where you could end up in court. So you must disclose any material defect that you know uh, about the home. Your realtor can walk you through about what a material defect is and, and is not. The good news is there's a form that we have uh, given to us by the state of Colorado that's used to disclose everything you know uh, about the property. So it makes it really, really easy. But the point is uh, disclose. The point is disclose everything you know about that home. It's better just to be fully upfront. It's better to tell a buyer everything you know about the home. It will keep you out of court in the future, I'm guessing that's a good thing. I'm guessing that's a place you don't want to be. So this video, again, was about risk. It's about risk mitigation for sellers. Uh, if you need more resources, if you like this kind of information, if you need more help from us, you can reach out to us at windermerecolorado.com. Thank you so much for checking out this video.